Tonight, we're following developments in Marilyn Mosby's indictment. For the first time, her attorney took questions about the case. He says he wants a quick trial and promised a vigorous defense. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren, live in Station North, with more on his comments today. Mike. Max, he defended withdrawals from her retirement account as appropriate and said she had no idea of past federal liens against her. Remember, these charges include perjury and also making false statements on mortgage applications. I stand with Mary Mosby. I stand with Mary Mosby. A. Scott Bolden, the lawyer defending Baltimore State's attorney Marilyn Mosby against felony federal charges, took aim at the U.S. Attorney's Office for what he called a politically motivated prosecution. Marilyn Mosby is not the only one that's going to be on trial. The U.S. Attorney's Office for Maryland is going to be on trial. The criminal justice system and its attacks on black female progressive prosecutors is going to be on trial. And Bolden bristled at the allegations Mosby lied when withdrawing from her 401k, falsely claiming she needed coronavirus relief just to avoid tax penalties. She used the funds to buy two Florida vacation homes. He says Mosby was impacted by COVID because of her side businesses, including a travel company, even though Mosby herself wrote previously those businesses were not operational and had yet to generate any revenue. I'm I'm telling you those businesses were, were, were running and they were being pursued and they were legally on the books. WJZ asked Bolden whether he expected more charges were coming and whether he was surprised at the current charges given the government's extensive probe into Mosby's financial records. What's the U.S. Attorney for Maryland say? What does he say? Is he surprised? Because I don't run the government. All I do is defend clients who are, who are accused of doing bad things. I emphasize accused. Mosby's lawyer also criticized the lead prosecutor who brought the case, Leo Wise, for donating to her political opponents. Wise also prosecuted officers in the gun trace task force scandal and Mayor Catherine Pugh. The driver of the narrative, negative narrative, he gives not once but twice to her opponents four years ago. Sees nothing wrong with that. Uh, the U.S. Attorney's Office was closed today. They typically do not comment on ongoing investigations. Reporting live in Station North, Mike Helgren, WJZ.